Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a electrolysis kit to clean your toasty fines that you find out in the field. So that's what I'm going to be cleaning today. I found this a few weeks back with my metal detector, but a lot of times they'll look like this. If they're rare, rare coins, I would never use this method. I would go to a coin dealer and, you know, ask them what would be the best way to clean if not at all because, you know, it can damage them. But this is a 1984 dime, so this is what I'm going to use for an example today. Anyway, if you can find a AC-DC converter, this happened to be one that was hooked to an old phone with a charger. This is a nine volt. You can get a nine, 12, and 18. Uh, the bigger volt, the better, you know, to clean your coins with. But this is what I happen to have. And you can get them at thrift stores or places like that for about two bucks. You can find them sometimes. And you'll have to cut the ends off. And of course I went to the hardware store and actually found me a positive and a negative uh, alligator clips and I cut the tip of it off and took uh, you know the wire cutters cut that and then stripped the wire off then ran it through on each one and this just so happened to have a negative and positive color so and on these adapters this is from China and it's not real reliable, but you have to be careful. Uh, the positive side will usually have a marking, and this has a white marking where the other side does it negative. So if it's true, and sometimes it's not, this will be your positive, and this will be your negative, totally black. Okay. And, of course, you'll need a jar, and you'll need something to conduct with, so that's a stainless steel spoon, uh, toothbrush for cleaning your coin a little later. You'll need some iodized salt. Lemon juice is great for extra conductivity. And baking soda to clean up the final result of the coin. Now when you use this adapter, only use an AC-DC adapter. Don't use just an AC adapter because that's not going to work. The AC-DC adapter is what you need and when you come to these clips don't get copper clips get these uh, stainless colored clips because the copper is not going to work either. Okay Okay, next we're going to make our solution. So get you some cold tap water and put it in your glass container. Fill it up because you want your coin to go down in that. All right, then add a tablespoonful of salt, iodized salt. Make sure you mix that up good. Mix it real good. Something like that. Then add your lemon juice a little bit for better conductivity. And that's pretty much your solution that you're going to need. So just set it there. And we'll show you the next step. Okay, the next step is to set your spoon in your solution 
and hook your clip to it. Now, when you put your coin in there, you want to make sure that they don't touch. Now, you want your positive on your metal, and you want your negative on your coin here. And you don't want them to touch. All right. Then plug up your adapter into your current. And then take your coin. And like I said, make sure that they don't touch these two. Now if it's positive, you'll see bubbles start coming off on the right side. And as you can see, bubbles are coming off. And you want to do it for about 10 not 10, but about five minutes. Keep it in there for about five minutes. Now you're gonna get a bad smell, so you wanna have a ventilation going, or some type of something going. But you'll see that this coloration, so it's hooked up right. You're getting your bubbles on the coin, and that's where you want, because that's cleaning that coin off. Electricity's running through it right now, and taking all those uh, you know, bad particles off of it that you couldn't get off, which is basically cleaning with a a toothbrush. Because I had tried, trust me. So your reaction's working. Now when you get done here in about five minutes, you can check it every now and then. It wouldn't hurt to pull it out. But when you get done, make sure that you unplug it uh, AC DC adapter because it's going to get really hot and you don't want to burn your house up. So you see the stuff coming off of it. Yep. Coming off pretty good. I'm just shaking a little bit in here. You know. But I'm going to leave it in there for about at least two to five minutes and I'll get back with you okay it's been about five minutes and you can see some of the stuff that's come off of it trying to clean it up a little bit I'm gonna run it under some cool water to stop this reaction and scrub it with some baking soda and we'll look at it and see what it looks like after that okay that's basically what the water looked like um, I did learn something. It is shinier. It is a little cleaner. And more crisp. Uh, you got that, you know, a lot of that black sediment off of it. Since that's a 9 volt that I'm using, there's a 12 volt and an 18 volt. The 18, the, the larger voltage would probably work better. Although, you know, I kept this in there about 10 minutes instead of you know the five minutes so you can repeat the process and I'm sure you can get more of that off but anyway you have the general ideal of what you can do on this electrolysis to clean your coins and I hope that videos helped just remember to unplug immediately uh, when you think that you've got this thing clean good enough unplug your adapter so it doesn't you know get too hot or catch anything on fire and like I say rare coins with the exception don't clean them like this uh, take them to a dealer and ask them what they think the options should be maybe not cleaning at all so I hope this video has helped a little bit with electrolysis I'm going to use it on my coins from here on out alright thanks for watching